I was born in the East Village in Manhattan. I was raised there until I was 10. There, I would have two or three close friends that would live by me. We would just get together and we would go to Tompkins Square Park and we would play soccer, basketball all the time. Then we moved to Bushwick, Brooklyn. It was very different from how it is now. I've got to see the neighborhood change a great amount. But over there, we would go to this, this park only two blocks away from my house. We would just get a soccer ball, kick it around on the grass there. I was actually doing gymnastics when I was young, and then I broke my arm at Chelsea Piers, so I switched over to soccer. I started getting into more organized soccer when I joined Med Oval at U12 age, and then I played there for three years and I moved to NYCFC. Now this is my fourth season with the club, so I've been with it ever since it started. My time in the academy, it's been great. I started since there was just one team, and then now I've seen it grow into six teams and a, a whole nother girls academy. The academy, one of the biggest things it's really given me is the professional mentality that is not only what you do on the field, but you also have to take care of yourself off the field and watch everything you do. And it's really a great opportunity to be here and be able to learn from these players. I used to watch a lot of Frank Lampard, and the first time I met him in person, and he just gave me so much great advice. James and Joe, they've both been great. Uh, I've been able to see them sign a pro contract, and then before that, get to train with them every day in the academy and it pushes you to want to get there with them and be able to play with them. When NYCFC was first announced, I, I knew I wanted to play for the professional team in my own city that I've grown up in. It was an amazing chance for me, and I just wanted to be able to be a part of it. I was meeting Claudio in Manhattan, and he was the one that broke the news to me over lunch. And once he said it, I, I didn't know what to say. I was just so happy. I really couldn't describe the feeling. The first people I told were my parents, who were just incredibly happy for me because they know I've been working so hard for this my whole life. To be able to play for the team in my own city in front of all these people that I grew up around, it's really an amazing feeling to give something back now. For the fans, I just want to say that it's going to be a great year. I'm going to give everything I have for this city that I grew up in, and I hope we can make them happy.